Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually editing it right now and I realized that I forgot to film an intro because I'm so silly. So this is the intro. Today's video is going to be an easy fall eye look with a nice bold lip. And it's not this look because I filmed it yesterday, but if you would like to learn how to do this look, just leave a comment down below and I can make a tutorial for you. So, um, this look is really easy and really fun and it's really, um, it's nice if you want to like try out some new lipsticks or you like wearing lipstick or whatever. Just like, just try it. Just try it out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's just get into the video. Um, you're going to see me with no makeup on right now. The first thing I'm going to start with today is the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. I've actually never used this before and it's like iridescent. Next for foundation, I'm going to mix the Infallible Pro Matte with the Infallible Pro Glow. I am in the shade 102 Shell Beige and 202 Creamy Natural. I've spoken about mixing these two products together before. It's just like such a beautiful combination. Sometimes the Pro Matte Foundation can make my skin, since I already have dry skin, it can make my skin uh, feel a little more dry or kind of like sucks the moisture out of it. So I'm thinking or I'm hoping that with this um, primer that that will happen because it does look more dewy than normal when I mix the two. For concealer, my favorite, Tarte Shape Tape, I'm in the color Light. I'm just putting some also up on my lid. I don't have any extra, but just what is on my sponge. Just to use as an eyelid primer. And to set my under eye, I'm going to use the shade Lyric from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It's this one in the middle. It has kind of a yellow tint to it. I like setting my under eyes with products like this. Actually, I'm gonna mix a little dab of this one too. This one is called Levitation. I like to use under eye products that are tinted a little bit yellow because it helps to cancel out my, um, any dark circles I have under my eye, which is like all the time, constantly. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the HD Finishing Powder from Studio Makeup. I talked about this product in my BoxyCharm and I've been using it like religiously since then. I'm putting a little bit extra on my smile lines and on the sides of my nose and then I'll just go in with a regular brush to set the rest of my face. Looking lovely. Look at this eyebrow, it's like out of control. I like to spend a little more time on my bronzing and contour when my eye look is super simple. So I'm going in again with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm gonna take the color, the middle one called Shadow Play and the other one called Subconscious, which are these two shades, and take a little tap of each and tap off my brush and use it to contour. And then I'm going to go over it with a more fluffy brush. This is the V2 by BH Cosmetics. And this is just more for bronzing the skin. Well, that's what I'm using it for. I don't actually know what this is for. I think it's just a powder brush. And then to just define, just to like be a little bit extra and define my contour line in case any of my 
um, bronzer went lower than I want it to I'm going to take this studio makeup again or you could use you could use any powder whatever powder you want to use and I'm using this morphe straight brush this is called the y12 and I'm gonna bake a line like this and I want to make sure it's even on both sides Well that said, so I'm going to work on my eyebrows and I've been using this new product, new for me. This is called the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit and I got a sample size in Ulta because I didn't know if I really wanted to commit however much it was to buy a full size and it's a little bit fatter. Can you see that? So what I've been doing is using the sides to outline and then using the fat inside to fill in my eyebrows. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could remove the bake now, or you could just let it sit, you know, just like don't forget about it. And now for the eyeballs, I'm going to use a combination of uh, this Pure palette I got from my BoxyCharm and the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. So let me move you in a little closer. In this Soiree Diaries palette, I'm going to be using the top three colors, one, two, three. I'm going to set with this color, I'm going to buff this into my crease, and then I'm going to buff this a little bit lower. First color in my crease is the more peach shade. Any peach shade will work. This one is called Social Light. And I kind of want to use something a little fluffier like this guy. An important thing to keep in mind when you're working with these really light shades is just to take your time. Take your time and blend a lot and build it up and just don't like go in with a whole bunch on your brush at once because then it can just like quickly get out of control. So as you can see I'm putting this everywhere. I'm putting it all the way up here, I'm putting it down here on my lid. This is such a pretty natural looking color. And then once you achieve the color that you're looking for, I'm going to go in with a little bit more tapered of a blending brush. This is the M433 by Morphe. And I'm going to go in with this color Gala, and it's a really light brown. So any light brown will do the trick. And I'm going to focus this in my crease. I'm not going to take it up as high. I'm going to also, I'm going to take the color gala that I've been working with and I'm going to go in with this little Viramona brush. It's just a little definer guy and I'm going to swoop it onto my lower lash line. Now to add some color, I'm switching to the Modern Renaissance palette and I want to go in with the color Red Ochre, which is right here. It's a brownish, reddish color. Um, if you wanted something a little more cranberry, you could use either one of these as like a swap out. So I'm going to go in with that tapered brush I was using uh, with the brown shade. This is the 433 again, and I'm just going to tap into red ochre, right? I have like the littlest bit, and I'm even going to tap off my brush. And I'm just going to place it right here, and I kind of just want it to give me a nice wash of color. So I swept a little bit into my crease, and then I'm going to focus the rest of it right out here.
So once you've achieved the wash of color that you're looking for, um, you can go in with, I like to use a brush like this. Uh, this is from BH Cosmetics and this is the shape of it. I like to use it for applying color to the lid. I'm going to go in with the color Tempura. It's right here, the first shade in the palette. If you wanted to be a little more golden, you could go in with a little Primavera too. Actually, I think I will just mix the two of these two colors together. And don't forget to tap off your brush because there is a lot of fallout with this palette. And I'm just going to place the color right on my lid. Okay, and then once my lid is nice and bright like this, I want to take the color and I want to drag it out to here as an inner corner highlight and then even swoop it down into that area. Okay, now I just put the littlest, smallest bit of red ochre back on my brush and I'm just gonna intensify it a little bit on both sides. Carefully. And I'm also gonna take a pencil brush, which is a brush that's shaped like this. Uh, this is one, I think I got this in a naked palette or a glam bag. Um, and I'm taking a little dab of red ochre and tapping it off and I'm gonna take it under here. You could also use a definer brush for this, but I really, I don't want it to go all the way in. I just want it to go about halfway in and I don't want it to be very dark. Just again, a wash of color. At this point, you could use a wing liner. You could just do a liner across your lid. Um, I'm going to skip the liner today and go straight for a mascara. Look at the difference here. This mascara is incredible. This is the uh, Lash Princess by Essence. I've talked about this for a long time now. It's so good. It's $4, you guys. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. It's actually cheaper than a lot of mascaras from the drugstore. If there's one tip I can give you about mascara, it's to take your time. You know, you want to make sure that each lash is just as coated as the last one. Even in here and out here. For highlight, I'm going to use the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette by NYX. It looks like this. And I am actually going to mix this color, this color, and this color. So I'm just going to do like a tap, a tap, a tap. And then I'm going to highlight all the way up here. And now the most fun part of this look is your lip. You can do anything you want to with your lip because everything else is so subtle. Yesterday I went with um, this color, Nice to Fuchsia by, um, oh, by Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Soup. Today I'm gonna go in with this color. This is called, oh, this is an Ultra Matte Lip by ColourPop. I think I want something a little more cranberry this one. I can't quite decide. The color that I ended up going with is called Plum Bum and it is by um, L'Oreal. It is the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. Also, at first I put on the color uh, Petal Potions. So I don't think it really makes a difference in how it looked. Uh, but this is also a pro matte liquid lipstick. These are really good. If you guys um, wanted to try them, they do have swatches available at Ulta before you buy them, which isn't so common in the drugstore section. 
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you tried this look, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know your experience or if you added lashes or if you added liner. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.